Okay, well let's say you want to go ahead and do a background change on an image that you just photographed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And here we're taking an image. I just photographed this this morning for my wife's eBay business and it's a bracelet. And normally she'll put a background behind this about maybe 18 inches behind this. However, before she was able to put the background down, I just snapped off just a quick shot. This is just straight from the camera, no color correction. However, I did crop this and I cropped it to a smaller size and to give you an idea of the size because that's going to all determine on what settings you're going to be doing your adjustments. But the size overall is a 679K file size. The image itself is under 5 inches wide by 8 inches high with the resolution being set to 77 ppi. Okay, so we're at that image size. Now we're going to go ahead and choose the magic wand tool. And in this particular case, notice that I had a tolerance set to 15. So that's going to work out good. Let's do the selection. Here we're going to hit shift. Again, two more selections down on the bottom. And this is the whole background that we have selected now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually use a background color, not one, but I'm going to use two colors because we're going to make this a gradient. So I'm going to choose black, which is set already, as the background color. And I'm going to set the foreground color to a little bit of a goldish orange look, right about there. All right, so we have like a goldish orange in the foreground set with black as our background color. Now, this is important. What you want to do that before you do the gradient, let's go to select feather. And then we're going to make sure that the feather radius is set to one pixel. This is important because this is going to give us just a little bit of a blending. It's going to make it look so natural. It's going to look like... Uh, we didn't even do a background change. And this is what's so cool about doing this. And because this particular background here was so far away, it, sh it sort of shows up dark, which is nice. And it's pretty much uniform. It's like a monotone, so it's very easy to select. Now, if you wanted to, you could add actually different images back here. But we're going to be using these two colors with a gradient tool. And the gradient that I chose to use is going to be this one. It's called a diamond gradient. And then we're set. We're going to start off with a cursor right about here. Left click. We're going to drag it down beyond the image size. I'm going to try right about here. And you know what? That looks pretty good. I like that. It's a neat color. So we're going to go ahead and deselect it and let's have a look. And look how nice that blend is. I mean, it just looks so natural. And I think that's the effect of just adding a little bit of a feather on that. And even if we magnify it, we're at 200% now. You can see it looks relatively smooth like we never even made a background change. So I love this. Okay, just a little bit. We're going to fine tune a couple things. Like I said, this was straight from the camera other than the cropping we did. I'm just going to do a little cleanup here with the little bit of a dimple that was on the bracelet holder and that's pretty much it except for I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit just to where it should be. And there it is. I think that's gorgeous. We're just going to add a little bit of a stroke like a gold stroke around the border and this is the image that I'm going to give my wife and see if she likes this. So this is relatively how easy it is making the background change and this was literally done in under a couple of minutes. And, and actually, if I wouldn't be talking to explain this, you could be doing this in just a few seconds. So with the right settings, your background is going to look unbelievably realistic. So I hope you enjoyed this.